it's Shane. Welcome back to the vanity chair. Today I was getting ready to go to work and I wanted to do kind of glittery eyes and I thought I might as well set up the camera and record it because this is a really pretty eye look to wear for the holidays and stuff like that. Holiday parties, I always go with glitter in the holiday season. So anyways, the main um, thing that's on my eyes today is this glitter from the new MAC pigment sets. It is so pretty. This is my favorite set. I actually bought all three sets, so I was thinking about doing a little swatch video. I might do that next for you guys. So yeah, I use that and then this little Eyes Times 9 um, burgundy set from MAC. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy and let's just get started. So first I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. I'm using Anastasia Brow Wiz in Taupe and I just like to outline my brows with this and then take a powder to fill them in. So I'm using Omega Eyeshadow from MAC to fill them in and I'm using a MAC 263 angled brush. And then I'm just going to clean up around the edges a little bit with some concealer. So I'm using MAC Pro Longwear NC20 and I'm taking this on a Sigma concealer brush and just kind of underlining my brows to clean them up and make them look a little more sharp. This also helps to highlight especially if you use a lighter concealer. To prime my eyes, I'm using MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I like to use this or a concealer, just something down first so that your eyeshadow has something to stick to. So our first eyeshadow is MAC Soft Brown. I just love this because it's a nice warm brown, so it just helps everything we're going to be putting in the crease next blend out. So I'm just applying this with an E40 from Sigma. It's just a large, fluffy brush. Okay, the rest of our shadows we're going to be using are out of this Burgundy Eyes Times 9 MAC palette. So first we're starting out with that bottom shade called Hoax. It's kind of like a mauve shade. It's really pretty, so I'm throwing this in the crease area with an E35 from Sigma. It's just a little bit of a smaller brush than I was using before. And now I'm just taking that original brush with nothing on it and just blending the soft brown and the Hoax together to make sure it's not choppy. Now we're taking Sketch, that dark purple on the very bottom, and I'm taking this on an even smaller brush. This is a Sonia Keshik blending brush, and I'm putting this in the crease. And I don't show it just because otherwise the video would be super long, but I literally go back and forth maybe five times just building this color up and up and up so it's dark enough. Now I'm taking Gesso, which is a matte white, and I'm just placing this underneath the eyebrow to highlight. This shade, obviously, since it's white, is very light. If you have darker skin, you can, of course, just use like a creamy color, but I really wanted it to pop, so I used white. Now we're going back in with Sketch, and I'm just going to add this to the outer corner with a flat shader brush. I'm using a 239 from MAC. And um, I just decided as I was doing my makeup to add this on the outer corner and only have the glitter we're going in with next on the inner corner. So to prep for the glitter, we're using Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. This stuff is amazing. It makes glitter eyes so much easier. So I'm just using that same 239, and I'm putting this everywhere I want my glitter to be. So I kept mine on the lid, stopping at the crease, and then kind of feathered it out halfway across the lid. We're using Reflex Bronze from MAC as our glitter. It is so gorgeous, you guys. It's my favorite glitter that came out this holiday season in the kits because it's a Reflex glitter, and the Reflex glitter is always, like, smaller particles of glitter than just regular glitter if that makes sense it's really finely milled so it's beautiful and just really easy to work with and now for liner we're going to be using eye studio gel liner from maybelline in black you want to use either like a liquid or a gel when you're going over glitter because if you just use a pencil it can get kind of like bumpy from the glitter this like i said is really finely milled so it wasn't that hard to do liner over it but other glitters it can be kind of difficult I'm just cleaning up under my winged liner with a wet makeup wipe and then I'm going to apply some mascara. I recently grabbed this Rimmel Lash Accelerator from the drugstore. I've heard about it forever but I finally tried it and I really like it. I'm using some Ardell 118s for my lashes today. I honestly don't love these lashes. I'm just trying to use them up because I bought like five pairs. <laughs> so I'm just popping these on with some duo lash glue and some tweezers. Now I'm going in to prep for my foundation with some MAC Light Fultzy Softening Lotion. If you guys watch my October favorites, you heard about this in more detail. I cannot say enough good things. It's amazing. And then my camera died, so I already put on MAC Studio Waterweight Foundation um, over top of Pores No More from Dr. Brandt Primer. And now I'm going to go in with some MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, same stuff we were using underneath our brows earlier. And I'm just going to dab this on with my finger underneath the eye area in an upside down triangle shape. And then I'm going in with my Sigma Kabuki brush and just buffing it out to brighten and cover any dark circles I was having that day. Now we're going to be wearing a colorful lip so I wanted to go in and add some lip conditioner from MAC first just so my lips are nice later for that dark lip and then I'm going to set my whole face with some MAC Studio Fix foundation powder with a Too Faced Kabuki brush. I just love this powder. I always go back to it. It gives such a nice matte finish and it gives a nice full coverage too. I'm just going to set my eyebrows with some clear brow gel from Anastasia. I like to do this after I'm done doing my powder. That way my powder doesn't get all in my eyebrows earlier. I'm going in with my NARS palette again and I'm just setting my under eye with the Paloma 
um, contour highlight powder. I love this palette so far, you guys. I got it at the Sephora VIB sale. It's amazing. I've been using it like crazy. Now I'm going in with Feline Eye Coal from MAC. I like this in the waterline if you want a smoky uh, lower lash line because you can kind of buff it out and it's really blendable and creamy. Um, it doesn't last too long, but you can always go in and kind of touch up throughout the day. So I'm doing that exact thing I was just saying, kind of smoking it out. I'm taking that same sketch. It's a dark purple shade we put in our outer corner earlier on a MAC 212 brush. And then I'm going to take Star Violet and do kind of the same step again with a pencil brush though so it's a little bit more blown out. And I'm just buffing this back and forth to kind of smoke that lower lash line out. And then I'm actually going to go back with Star Violet on top too just because I wanted to bring that color up into the crease area so it was also on the top of my eyes and the bottom. So that's what I'm doing right here. You don't have to do this. I just kind of wanted to carry that color up into the top area as well. And then I'm just going back over that waterline again to make sure it's really nice and black. For mascara, I'm using that same Rimmel Lash Accelerator, again, on the lower lash line. It works really well on the lower lash line because it's really defining. You don't get any clumps or anything. And then we're pulling that NARS palette back out. I love this, you guys. I've been using it literally every day. So for my bronzer, I'm grabbing Laguna. And my poor little bronzer brush is so sad. This is an old brush from Sephora that I absolutely love, and it's discontinued. Ugh, it's just getting so gross. I need a new one. So if you guys have a favorite bronzer brush, please comment down below with your favorite brushes. So make sure you just get that around the, all the edges of your face to bring warmth to the face. And then we're going to add some blush. I'm going in with that third shade over. I forget the exact name of this blush. Let's look, see what it is. It is called Luster, and that's exactly what it's like. It just makes your skin nice and glowy and lustrous. And I'm just throwing that on with an F10 from Sigma all over the cheeks. And then we're going to highlight. I'm using Oh Darling Highlighter from MAC Holiday Collection. And I'm putting that on with an Anastasia highlighting brush on the tops of my cheekbones. And then I'm also going to pop it on my um, inner corners of my eyes, right above the lip and on the nose area as well. Then next we are moving on to lips. So I needed a good liner. I grabbed my NYX Plum Liner. This is one of my favorite purple liners. I'm using this um, just around the edges and then I kind of fill in the corners of my lips too, just so they're a little bit darker than the center of my lips. And then I'm going to go in with a lipstick that's actually limited edition. It's called Sea Goddess. It's from the Alluring Aquatic Collection at MAC, but Rebel's really close. There's a bunch of purples you can grab, so just grab whatever kind of violety purple you have. I liked the purple because our crease is purple, so I thought it kind of tied it all together. And then I'm going to set everything we've just done with matte setting spray from L'Oreal, and you guys are finished. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you guys soon.